If you're sharing your Netflix password, Netflix just released a brand new feature that will make it a little bit harder for you to share it with your ex-roommate. Coming up on The Streaming Insider. What's up streamers, it's Jason from The Streamable and every week we go behind the scenes of the biggest stories in streaming. And this week, Netflix is rolling out a test that will make it even harder for you to share your password. But before we get into it, make sure you hit that like button. The more people who like this, the more people will see it and the more great content I can keep bringing to you. And make sure you hit subscribe. We're almost at our 5,000 subscriber. And if you're one of our first 5,000 subscribers, you have a chance to win an Amazon Fire Stick 4K. And you're not gonna wanna miss your chance. So this week, the streamable broke the news that Netflix is cracking down on password sharing. You know, that little thing where you share your password with all your friends, your ex-roommates, their sister, your ex-boyfriend, your ex-girlfriend, all of those people. Well, you can't do that anymore. More. Earlier this week, some people on Netflix started getting this message that says, if you don't live with the owner of this account, you need your own account to keep watching. And then what happened is it gave you the option to either start a free 30-day trial or you could email a code or text message to the owner of the account who would have to verify. And people started getting a little confused. What did this mean in terms of password sharing? So Netflix confirmed to the streamable that they are starting a test to crack down on password sharing. And this is what Netflix told us. This test is designed to help ensure that people using Netflix accounts are authorized to do so. So we've heard for now this test is just on connected TV devices, whether that's Apple TV, Fire TV, or Roku, and it's not rolling out to everyone quite yet. And it's not exactly clear how this is activated. Is this sent to people when they're not connected on the same IP address or log in from a totally different location? We're not exactly sure quite yet, but it's clear that Netflix is changing their tune on sharing your passwords with friends. So according to the Netflix official terms of service, the Netflix service and any content viewed through the service are for your own personal and non-commercial use only and may not be shared with individuals beyond your household. So what does a household actually mean? That doesn't necessarily mean that you are living in the same house, which is why this is actually an interesting way that Netflix is policing it. They're not stopping you completely from sharing it with people outside your house. Instead, they're just making someone that you should know confirm via email or text message that this account should be able to log in with that. In fact, there are some people who are actually happy this is going in effect because passwords have been shared so widely with people who have shared houses and were roommates that this actually enforces it so the person actually paying for it doesn't have someone mooching off of their account. Netflix has been on the record about password sharing for a while. In October 2019, Netflix chief product officer Greg Peters said, in respect to password sharing, we'll continue to monitor it. So we're looking at the situation and looking to consumer friendly ways to push at the edges. But at the time he said, there's no big plans. This is quite a change of tune of what Netflix said in the past. In 2016, Reed Hastings, the co-CEO of Netflix said, we love password sharing. And the reason he said that is he felt that the more people who shared Netflix, the more likely they would ultimately become subscribers. So in the past, the only the only way that they really enforced it was how many people could share at the same time. On a basic account, one person, on a standard two, and on a premium account, four simultaneous streams. So the question is, why have they changed their tune? Well, part of it is they are so big now. They have over 200 million subscribers. And when you have so many subscribers, how do you get new ones? Well, get people who are already using it, but not paying for it. And there are a lot of people out there that probably would pay for it at the $13.99 a month had they not have the option to take someone else's password. So this is actually a pretty savvy trick by Netflix in order to get more people who are mooching other people's accounts to actually start paying. So how many people are sharing their Netflix password? Well, according to a research report by Magid, 
35% of millennials share their passwords. So that's a lot of people who are actually doing password sharing. I think the bigger fear for streamers is if this works for Netflix, what will happen on other streaming services? Other streaming services like Disney Plus allows four streams and HBO Max allows three streams, but more or less, they don't really care where that stream is coming from. And if this is a savvy product move for Netflix, I wouldn't be surprised to see other streaming services, especially the bigger ones, starting to enforce it. So the last thing is, is it actually illegal to share your password? Probably not unless you're selling it. It certainly is against the terms of service of Netflix if you're sharing your account with someone outside of your household. So they could potentially close your account if you do that. There are some states where it's a little murkier. Tennessee passed a law in 2011 which made it more or less illegal to share your Netflix password. The fine is about $2,500, so there is some risk associated with it, but I don't think Netflix has actually ever gone after anyone. So I'll leave you at this. This is actually a pretty smart move by Netflix. They basically are making it annoying to share your password. Imagine if you have to get a text message or email from your ex-roommate every single time you want to log into your Netflix account. You probably will just pay the money instead. So that's it. That's this week's edition of the Streaming Insider. Let us know in the comments below, do you share your Netflix password and would this get you to create your own account? If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button. The more people who like this, the more people see it and the more great content I can keep bringing to you. You. And remember, make sure you hit subscribe. One of our first 5,000 subscribers will win a Amazon Fire Stick 4K, and we're almost there, so it could be you. And make sure you visit us all week long at thestreamable.com for the latest in streaming news and reviews. And for The Streamable, I'm Jason. Have a great week.